we're gonna be doing some uh, tuning on the Mustang today. Um, just gonna, we're going to get Monica a new phone. Can you hear me? My uh, sunglasses. So now that uh, you've been out driving around, we're gonna grab the data that was just learning on the ECU and open it up on our Holly software here. All right, so we've got the key on, got our uh, USB connector plugged in down here, and we just open up our software. And since we wanna get what's currently on the ECU, we're gonna click download from ECU. It's gonna sync up here. I've got my global file name up here. Boom. So now what we're going to be viewing is what is currently on the car. Got my fuel graph. And then, yeah, should have a pretty good learn table. So from here, you're going to see kind of where the, the spots that it was really having to learn were. Um, basically, we've got right down here, like 2,500 RPMs right when it was almost uh, a highest peak vacuum going into you know throttle uh, it seems to be having to take a whole lot of fuel out i believe that's what the negative uh negative number means here but uh overall there's only a few other spots up here kind of when i was getting on the throttle um it was having to compensate you know closer to five percent but down here was yeah 20 percent and so what we're gonna do with these numbers here is you're able to transfer what we've just learned to the base tune and so if you look down here we might have this area that's going to get changed quite a bit so what we're going to do is going to go to our learn table transfer learning to base it's going to ask if you want to smooth this out you're going to say yes so it's going to take those numbers and apply them down here where you'll see it really took a bunch of fuel out of there, um, but that's okay. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click save. We're gonna keep this, this is the same hybrid tune. I think it was, yeah, something like 52 degrees with the Leech A9L timing table. And so this is actually gonna be day three. And what's the date today, 30th? So now we save a completely new file um, with this updated uh, fueling. And so what I even do here is I'll take kind of the higher values of this and I'll smooth. Actually, what I'll do is yeah, I'll smooth these out just to make it a little less sharp. There we go. We'll do the same thing up here. Uh, take these. Let's smooth those out. There we go. 
So, so now we've got the car on, and you can see your little dot here that's hovering, and that's what part of the table that it's currently using. So it's like that for all these tables. So if you look at the graph, it'll show you where in the graph you're at. Same with air fuel ratio, targeting 13.8. Sitting pretty close, 13.8. Here's your timing marker. Gonna go up as the vacuum changes, the RPMs increase. Here's just a live look at the learn table. So this is what it's learned. And basically, as you, you know, change the position, it'll sit here and learn in those areas. So once it's learning, like I said, you just let it do its thing. It'll show you what it's, uh, what it's changing what it's having to change all of this is pretty good one percent but down here it's still you know having to compensate a good eleven percent twelve percent right in this uh 2500 rpm range with low vacuum then you know transfer this We got more learning down here going on. Pretty sweet. And then if you go down, just with those changes, we'll go up here and try and populate these areas. Now it's just populating these areas again and you know, we're getting it down. So down here we see it's got pretty red. I think we gotta add some more fuel back in there, but that's based off of, uh, you know, what it's telling me here. Looks like it's a positive number. So if we transfer learning, we'll smooth out those values. Go back up here, and it's a little less red. We'll get back over here.
and we'll call that good. All right, and so once you make those changes and you save the file, you'll want to come up here and um, it'll maybe not say online, it'll say USB link. And if you were to make some changes, like even, I've already changed this to 51.2, a very very small change and you hit USB link it'll have the areas here that have been synced um, and so from here you'll want to send changes to ECU boom and you're good to go now you'll be running on your um, you know updated learned um, fuel tables and stuff and just like that, you're making changes to your fuel tables on the fly, um, automatically using the Terminator X software. It doesn't get any easier than this, it feels like. It's my first time messing around with any sort of standalone software, but uh, this is just so intuitive. Uh, it really does make things simple and easy to understand. Every time we get to take this thing out, it's driving better and better, so we know that these corrections that it's making are for the better. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And uh, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay ripping. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.